In order to make the scoop part of the spoon, the front part that you eat out of, we're gonna start with a small piece of clay and we're going to make a pinch pot, a very shallow pinch pot. Um, in order to do that, you're gonna take your clay and you're gonna form it into a large sphere. Okay, now I don't recommend doing this on the table. It tends to get flat spots. I actually like to just kind of cup my hands and kind of rotate the clay around If you have cracks, you can use your fingers and smooth them out. If you have a water cup, a little bit of water, uh, not too much, but a little bit can help smooth out any cracks that you might have. Once it's a pretty nice sphere shape, all smoothed out, it's time to start the pinch pot. So in order to do a pinch pot, um, you're gonna, just like it sounds, you're gonna pinch the clay. Um, I'm a righty, so I do the pinch part with my right hand and the rotating part with my left hand. If you are a lefty, then you just reverse that. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put an indentation with my thumb, okay? And I want you to imagine that my thumb stays on the inside of the scoop at all times and my other fingers stay on the outside part. And I'm going to pinch and then rotate, pinch and then rotate around, over and over again. Now I'm putting enough pressure that the clay moves a little bit, but not so much pressure that I get a huge, ugly um, fingerprint. Um, so it's not like, a, like I'm not pinching with all my might at each time. It's just a little at a time. So I pinch and rotate, pinch, rotate, pinch, rotate. Now, I don't want to keep pinching from the same place on the outside because then I'll just get a flat spot and it'll be thick in other places. So once I go all the way around in one, in one spot, I move my fingers to another spot. Pinch and rotate. Now, if I was trying to make a deeper bowl, I would concentrate more on pinching on the sides. But because um, the scoop of a spoon is, real, is pretty shallow, um, I don't want to make really like high walls. So I'm mostly trying to pinch on the bottom and the lower parts of the sides. Uh, I don't want to pinch um, too much right at the edge. Uh, but I'm just going to pinch and rotate it until the whole thing has a slight curve to it. And it's um, you know, about a little bit thinner than half an inch. Okay, so once it's pretty uniform throughout, um, I can then go back with some water in case there's any cracks that have formed, smooth out any marks or cracks that might there be there. Now, if I wanted my scoop to be round, I might be done. If I want it to be flatter, I can flatten it out. If I wanted it to be deeper, um, I can curve it more. If you want it to be more of an oval, like traditional spoon scoop, um, first you make it the circle that you want, and then you very gently, from each two sides, pull. Okay, and that will give you that oval shape. If you want it to be a little bit higher on the edges, you can push in the edges a little bit more. If you want it to be lower on the edges, you can do that. You just gently shape it into um, whatever shape you want it to be, smooth out any fingerprints you might have gotten. And that's the first step of creating our totem spoon.